Hey, I'm Serge from Swiss Tesla Fan. So tonight is Christmas Eve and uh, actually Elon and Tesla have given us an early Christmas present. So this is a new update and there's a lot going on with this update. So uh, we're downloading it right now and um, I'm actually gonna have a look at it uh, just after it finished. So one thing also that's uh, particular is that for this video, I'll stay in the car while it's updating and we'll see what happens uh, during that time. All right, let's get to it. Okay, so the update is almost completely downloaded. It's finishing up. And so as soon as it's done, we're gonna install it. And here we go, it says software update available. So we're actually gonna click on that. And now we can say install now. Okay, so let's start this update. Let's uh, do it install now. Now it gives us the countdown. It says it's gonna begin. And so we're just gonna let it start. Okay, so it's a good thing we started, uh, stayed here, uh, because you can see, for example, that the message here is different. It says unwrapping present 2019.40.50.1. So that's clearly a message just for the Christmas update. So we've got already here a little bit of a, an exclusive. I uh, haven't seen this anywhere. Um, so I think that's cool. Let's wait now until it finishes. It's gonna probably take a while. Okay, another thing that I found interesting is the message has changed now. It says updating autopilot. So clearly it means that in the update package, uh, there's different parts and uh, that they are updating separately. Uh, I don't know if you heard that, but that was another clunky noise. And the AC is back on. Yeah, so these are the noises that some people talked about, I think in other updates, but I've never seen a video about it. And so it's interesting to actually see this. Um, for at least I hope it's interesting. <laughs> but for me, it's fascinating to understand a little bit about this, uh, this back behind the scenes kind of process. Okay, now it says it's rebooting. Yep, there it is, it's booting. Okay, guys, this is really surprising. Uh, the release notes just came up. And as you know, in Europe, we didn't have the smart summon. And it seems like it's just appeared in the release notes. So does this mean I can use smart summon here in Switzerland? That is, that would be amazing. And this is by definition an exclusive, at least here. Um, so it says smart summon is designed to allow your car to drive to you using your phone's GPS as a target or location of your choosing, maneuvering around or stopping for objects as necessary. Like summon, smart summon is only intended for use in private parking lots and driveways. You're still responsible for your car and must monitor. So I'll have to check the app if I get any um, option to do that. But if it's right, uh, this is a huge Christmas present for people here in Switzerland. I don't know if other countries will get it too, uh, but definitely something um, amazing. So it also says here, I'm just reading here at the, this paragraph, due to requirements, reg local regulators have chosen to impose smart summon in some countries is limited in functionality. Your phone must be within six meters of the vehicle at all times and it will only travel up to 20 meters for each summon drive. If maximum travel dis distance is reached, smart summon will become unavailable and require the, the vehicle to be driven manually to reset. Also, your phone must be actively connected to your car via Bluetooth to use Smart Summon, similar to how you would connect to make phone calls or stream media to your phone. So it also says, okay. Uh, so that's new, definitely. Now the next one, adjacent lace speeds. So this is something um, when your vehicle is moving significantly faster speed than the vehicles in neighboring lanes, autopilot now automatically reduces your vehicle's driving speed. Uh, this is helpful in heavy traffic. So this is something that was already available in the US, um, but it comes now with this release. 
Um, so it says when your vehicle detects that adjacent lane traffic is significantly slower, the lane is highlighted with arrows and these vehicles are highlighted gray in the vi driving visualization. Um, so it says the speed adjustment can be temporarily overridden. So, okay, so we're getting now the voice commands. So um, we'll have a look at that. Uh, for example, you can say open the glove box or um, let's go to work and um, play the Beatles and stuff like that. So um, here, yeah, it seems uh, we focus on commands that minimize having to touch the screen so you can keep your eyes on the road. So I think you can also control the windshield wipers. Um, and they say anonymous voice commands will be captured to further train and improve the system in future software updates. Uh, the phone improvements, so you can read and respond to text messages using the right scroll wheel button. Uh, so this is something I've seen also in other videos. And uh, so to view messages you have received, you need to tap the application launcher call messages. You can read and reply to a message by tapping an entry on the message list list. Okay, so we'll try that out also. And what else do we get? We get camp mode. So uh, it can maintain airflow, temperature, internal lighting, as well as play music and power devices when camp mode is enabled. Um, so <laughs> it says big batteries rock. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess, yeah. So uh, now they say also you can watch um, Tesla theater. Um, so, um, yeah, uh, it says you need to have premium connectivity to uh, stream videos over cell. And to subscribe to it, you need to uh, subscribe if you're not. And then we get the two games, Stardew Valley and Backgammon. And finally, also the, um, uh, the two games, yeah, uh, voice keyboard. So uh, that's really great. That uh, allows you to press a button to uh, avoid typing. Um, the tracks, so that's a little application to play music. We'll try to check it out quickly. The save dash cam uh, clips on Honk. Uh, so that means you can basically um, yeah, have the, the dash cam um, uh, automatically save when you honk uh, the horn. So you need to enable this in the controls. Uh, driver profile, so additional navigation settings are now saved to your driver profile such as levels for vo navigation voice guidance. Oh, that's good, because I always had problems with the voice guidance uh, changing. And now there's new language support. What is very important here is that there is one thing missing. The FSD preview that Elon talked about, it is not in uh, this release in Switzerland, but we have the Smart Summit instead. So I'm guessing they're trying to give you something because they haven't uh, given you uh, the... Um, the uh, FSD, but we'll have to see how limited this is uh, because it talks here about six meters. So if you really have to be six meters close to your car for smart summon, uh, that's pretty limited. So uh, we really will have to check and I'll have to check the app to see if I get the options um, as they talk about here. So unfortunately, I'm a little bit disappointed that we are not getting uh, the FSD preview. Um, so it seems like they are not ready to do that outside the US. So um, yeah, we'll have to see uh, if that comes later. So uh, that's it for the release notes, I think. Uh, let's try this, some of this stuff out quickly. And then uh, I'm not sure I can try uh, the Smart Summon right now because it's very late. I'll have to try tomorrow uh, and see how it works. Okay, let's get to uh, testing these things. Uh, let's test the voice commands first. Open glove box. Okay, that works. Change temperature to 25. Okay, that didn't work. Let's try again. Change temperature to 25. Okay, for some reason it's, it's not reading it correctly. Okay, so I've seen that work in, uh, in other videos, but it doesn't seem to be working for me, so I'm not sure what's going on. Navigate to Geneva. Okay, so that works, but that also used to work before. So that's not the, nothing new. 
Um, let's try play the Beatles. Okay, so it's just giving you results as before. Now, uh, what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to do the speech recognition thing here. And uh, so I'm going to press this button here. Batter hum. Yeah, it worked. <laughs> okay. Um, so let's try something else. System of a dawn. Okay, so here well, the problem is it put them one after the other, so it's really dictation. So you have to get clear it first. System of a down. Okay. What well, did I say that correctly, actually? Because I'm, yeah. All right. So, um, yeah, so these can be very useful. Um, now, what could we try? Okay, so if I understand correctly to set it up, you have to click here on the Bluetooth and make sure you enable uh, sync messages. Uh, so please enable Bluetooth messaging under your phone setting for everything. Find your tester under settings, Bluetooth, and press the information icon and show notification to on. Tap reconnect once you've enabled. So I need to do that quickly on the phone, which I'm using to film. So I'm going to have to pause it. Okay, I've done that. So now I can do reconnect. Okay, so it seems like now we have the sync messages and we can act also activate uh, due to the limitations of Bluetooth support from the device, you know, able to send group messages. That's fine. We don't want to do that. And let's do here uh, chime on new message. Okay, so um, unfortunately, I won't be able to do that right now um, because I won't be getting any messages right now, but uh, it would be fun to, to test that out. Okay, so um, Okay, you can now see that here down here I have the uh, messages app that's appeared uh, and I would see any messages that I get here. So that's really useful to avoid playing with your phone and still being able to, to get messages. Okay, we can see here in the entertainment that we uh, do have the new uh, Twitch option here. So we can go into that. I personally don't use Twitch much, uh, but uh, I guess some people would like that. Uh, again, this seems more targeted to kids, <laughs> uh, so I'm guessing it's mostly, for example, here you have recommended categories, Minecraft, I know my son would love that, and um, so we can have uh, kids looking at Minecraft videos, um, oh, that's in German, actually, um, and this is actually live, so we'll see if uh, anything's happening, yeah. So the quality sounds pretty good. I don't know if I have sound here or uh, I should be having sound, but I don't hear anything. Okay. So, but anyway, you see that it works. We so switch just over to the arcade. We can see the here that we have the two new games, Stardew Valley. So Stardew Valley is a pretty uh, intense game. Uh, well, I mean, pretty complicated. So I'm not going to get into it now. Um, but it's pretty cool that it's there. Uh, personally, I don't use the games much. I don't have time to kill in the car usually, so um, I don't really need that. Um, backgammon. What's cool about ba this backgammon game is it's a two-player game. Uh, so you can either play uh, against the computer or um, against uh, somebody next to you. So that's, that's interesting. Um, again, as I said, I'm, I'm not a big player, so I probably won't use this much. Okay, now let's try out the uh, new music app. Let's hope it works. I know this for some people. So it's under Toy Box. And here you have a new tracks um, app. So let's see if it works. Um, I've seen a video of somebody for whom it didn't work. So we'll see. Okay, it seems to work. So you have here a selection of instruments, it seems, like tr 8 so for those of you who don't know, that's a, a drum system. So let's just start playing. Oh, nice. This is actually quite nice. I didn't expect it to sound this good. And you can see here the different tracks. Let me see if I can add some stuff. Oh, okay. So that was just one loop. Okay. So 
and you can play them individually also. <laughs> this is fun. Yeah, very nice. What is this plus here? Oh, that adds a track, but I don't know why you can, how you can. Yeah, I'm not sure. Ooh, uh, this is a little bit buggy, it seems. What's interesting is that you can load and save. So I don't know if they provide any. No, nope, that doesn't seem to be anything. Do anything, and um, okay, let's change instruments, remove track, add beat steps. So if I do change instruments, beat samples. Let's see what we have here. Hip hop. A lot of stuff here. Drums. Oh, TR-808. Oh my goodness, whoever did this knows their stuff. Um, okay, so keyboards. My goodness, there's a lot more than I thought in here. Strings concert. Let's see. Um, okay, I was hoping to be able to close this. Um, can we scroll? Okay, we can scroll. So here it says we have a synth bass. So is there anything recorded there? No. Okay, let's try. Oh, that sounds a little bit bad. Let's go lower. Can we go lower? I guess not while we're playing. Okay. Oh, we have to scroll. Okay. That's pretty responsive. Not easy to play. <laughs> but the key spacing is pretty good. Oh, well, I don't know what happened there. Let's try another one. Okay, let's see if we can record that. what's going on there. Let's see if it replays again, if it loops. I don't know what it's doing. Okay, it doesn't seem to loop. <laughs> okay, let's try to play again. Okay, pretty cool. All right, so we can add instruments, it seems. Let's add some keyboards. Let's add a piano to see how that sounds. Up. Can we do multiple notes? Oh yeah, you can. It's not very fast. Let me try again. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, kind of difficult to play. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I guess this could be fun. I could, but I could probably use that at some point. So yeah, um, just uh, overall quickly, uh, this has really good sound quality. I did not expect it to sound this good. Uh, now what's interesting is that I have no idea how to get out of this thing. Oh, here, here are the controls. Okay. Okay, so that's the for the uh, new music app. Yeah, one thing I forgot to uh, mention was the new language support for Danish. Uh, so I'm sure that will be uh, enjoyed here in Europe. Uh, I'm sure a lot of Danish uh, customers will be very happy about that. And they were probably uh, waiting for it quite a while. So yeah, um, and uh, all the improvements and bug fixes always are important. Okay, so I'm in the parking lot right now and we're gonna check out to see if uh, Smart Summon is actually available uh, in Switzerland. So I'm sorry it's dark because it's a little bit late. So let's uh, start the app and it's in French. So here I go to, so it's connecting to the vehicle it says. And now here it says a Smart Summon. This is Sortie Auto Intelligent du Véhicule. So that means Smart Summon. So I'm going to try to turn it on. And... Oh, so it says here, Sortie Auto Impossible à l'emplacement actuel du véhicule. So I'm not sure what that means. Uh, it means that uh, probably not in a parking lot that's recognized. So I'm probably going to have to find a place where uh, there's a parking lot that's recognized by the map.
Okay, that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. So it was a surprising one. Uh, we didn't get uh, the full self-driving preview uh, that uh, they got in the US, but we did get, uh, well, at least we hope we got Smart Summon, although in a limited fashion. I couldn't get it to work. I hope it was just because it was dark. Uh, I'll try it again, so stay tuned for our next video. And make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to uh, get notified when I release the next one. So if you like this video, make sure to put a thumbs up. And also, if you like this car and you're interested in buying one, so make sure to use the referral code. You'll get a free supercharged electricity, 1,500 kilometers. And actually, if you use my referral code, I will also get the same. So I would really appreciate that. And thank you for everyone who has done that already. I really appreciate it. And uh, so that's it for this video. If you want to have, um, if you want to use the comments to ask any questions or request anything, any information about this update, uh, feel free to do so. Uh, I love to answer uh, your questions um, as quickly as I can. And that's it for this video. So it's uh, Christmas Day now, uh, very early in the morning. Actually, it's midnight. Uh, past midnight now and uh, so i wish you all happy holidays and uh, yeah really take time to have fun and enjoy uh, your friends and family so thank you very much for your continued support and see you in the next video bye bye